Music Jukebox. If you are listening and you don't know Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, please take this moment and get things right between you and God. Repent and turn from the wickedness and separate yourselves. Come out from amongst the world and be ye a separated people. Be blessed and allow God to take your life and make a Bible story out of it, my friend. All you got to do is stand up and say, Lord, take me just the way I am. Take me. Make me what you would have me to be. Jump up on the potter's wheel, my friend. Amen. God's good. Praise the Lord. Good to see you. House of Prayer, Brother Willie Grizzle there out of Scottsville, Kentucky. He snuck in to cook, but, well, he didn't sneak. He showed up. He obeyed God. And, and man, a testimony uh, my wife uh, shared tonight at church. Uh, my God, just what an awesome God. Brother Willie, after uh, the revival, he obeyed God. Before he went home, he came by and prayed with my wife and uh, anointed her feet and uh, washed her feet. And uh, nobody knowed but me. We've been praying, and, uh, you know, she's had trouble with her feet for a while. It's uh, not looked good. She, she could barely walk. She really hurt and pain when she walked. 
And, uh, you know, we've been praying for a miracle, and it took Willie being obedient. Brother Willie being obedient. Uh, she said her legs didn't hurt none today. She shouted victory all day and told everybody she could about how a man of God came and uh, obeyed the Lord. Amen. So we want to thank Brother Willie Grizzle for being a willing vessel. That's what we're trying to teach people. Be willing. If God says do it, do it. Quit trying to figure it out and just go do it. And man, you'll see what seems to be impossible with man it is, but with God, nothing is impossible. Amen. All right, let me get over here and see if we can get our phone line open back up. It, it uh, tonight the devil's mad, but I'm glad it keeps closing out when I open it. And then I check on the chat room. The, the uh, phone line closes out by itself. That's all right. We just keep opening it. Amen. We just open it again and again and again. <laughs> we ain't gonna give up. But now we're gonna. We got about ten minutes left here on the program. Uh, we're just gonna do the hour because, well, I still got to work. And uh, you know, um, uh, I throwed I throwed a fleece out to God. I said, Lord, you know it's. I need your strength. I need the prayer warriors to pray for me. I need strength. I work, and then straight from work to revival. Then I try to put up some pictures and videos to let everybody see, you know, a little bit of what God's doing. Then, uh, you know, we try to share uh, as much as we can, uh, you know, at this moment. But now after the revival, I'll be putting up all the videos and all the pictures. And uh, the radio programming will be back on regular scheduled time until the next revival. So you just... I need prayer. I need prayer. Amen. Pray for this old evangelist. Amen. Uh, praise the Lord. All right. Let me go over here and see if we can get the phone line up and about right here. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. I'm excited. I can't help it. I, I'm. Y'all got to pray for me. Because every time I get a, a testimony uh, on the testimony line, I either shout or cry. You know, I mean, I don't know. It just touches my heart. You guys will never know. Uh, no way to say thank you for you obeying and being obedient to the Lord. I will say this for each and every one that calls in. May God continue to bless you, my friends, as you are a blessing to others. Let's give this a listen and be blessed in Jesus' name, my friends. Be blessed. Hello, God bless you all. I love you all, and I'm praying for you. This is Brother Boyd London in Idaho. I was just calling in to say a prayer for God to help us all to live powerfully for Jesus. Father, I love you with all my heart, mind, and soul. I want to come to you and pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for Jesus dying on the cross for our sins so that our sins can be forgiven and so that we can go to heaven. Father, may we ne never take the death of Jesus for granted. May we be moved in our hearts and lives and be changed for Jesus dying for us on the cross. He suffered a horrible and painful death for us and for our wickedness and for our sins. It says, Father, in Titus 2.11, For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts, we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age, looking for the blessed hope, the glorious appearing of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might redeem us from every lawless deed and purify for himself his own special people, zealous for good works. I just want to pray and ask, Father, for a revival in our hearts and the revival of the people that are hearing this in their hearts, that uh, they could just to be able, be able to deny ungodliness, to purify themselves of the worldly lusts, of the alcoholism, of the drug, drug use, the whoredom, the pornography, the sexual type sins, the depression, all those different things out there that are getting people down, that are weighing people down, that are hindering people because the sin is destroying their lives. I pray and ask that we can be on fire and that the grace of Jesus, that his love for us can motivate us to say no to ungodliness and worldly passions. And I claim that we're set free from those sins. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. I claim that we are set free from those sins, that we are not hindered from those sins. And, Father, that we're going out loving you with all of my heart and that we're being those people that are special people that are zealous for good works. Please help us, Father, since Jesus died for us to be able to go out there constantly and do your will as we're told to do in Matthew chapter 7. May we go out there and pray with people, whoever we can. Get them healed. Get the sin out of our lives. Pray with them. Get them saved. May we share testimonies with people about all that you have done for us. 
and change their lives as they hear our testimonies. May we, may we meet the needs of someone, whether it be orphan kids, homeless people, the people in prisons, hospitals, whoever we could meet the needs of, as we're called to do in the parable of the sheep and the goats. May we meet their needs. May we tell as many people as we can about Jesus do Bible studies with them and help them as we go throughout our days. May we not be selfish, but may we look to the needs of others and help them spiritually. There's so many people, Father, that don't know about Jesus, and we are called to teach people about Jesus. May the greater grace and the death of Jesus motivate us to teach many people about Jesus and to live powerfully for you each day and to say no to ungodliness and sin. Thank you so much, Father, for helping us all, and I pray this prayer in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Sunday morning, everybody gathered in, in the middle of the woods at a little white church house, and it would fill up with family and friends, then the bell started ringing, and the choir started singing, the harmonies were sung to Jesus, out in the middle of the woods. It was an ordinary Sunday, everybody gathered in. Some were clapping their hands, some were tapping their feet, but everybody had their mind on him. Then the preacher preached the Bible, he preached the message loud and good. It was an ordinary Sunday, out in the middle of the world. How the Lord was so good, He was doing all He could And in the house there was not a dry eye When the roll is called up yonder It will ever more grow fonder God's so good, I tell you, it's just, I, there's no way to describe it, amen. What time it's on my mind, I want to share another phone number with you, amen, let me get over here, I've not learned it yet, but uh, Brother Willie is very blessed as he is expanding his ministry, and he has a prayer line that you can call, just like our testimony line, you can call and leave your pre-recorded prayer request, and I know he prays over them. I know that. We've used it twice, I believe, today. Amen. And uh, I'll be using it every day because I get, uh, I receive all kinds. Throughout the day, I probably receive anywhere between 20 to 40 prayer requests a day as I share those uh, on Facebook and different uh, in speak. And now I'll be sharing them over there with the House of Prayer. Uh, their prayer line, you just simply call it like you do the testimony line. And leave your prayer request. And uh, the man of God enters into prayer. 
and praise over that. Amen. So uh, you can dial. Uh, let me see if I can see it here in this little bitty. Brother Willie, you there, put the number up in the chat room. <laughs> I'm trying to see it here. Um, share it with us, brother. Uh, it's 1270 681 80. Mm, I can't.